Errol Spence is back and he's showing everybody why he is the realest in the game. Win, lose, or draw. He gonna stand on 10 toes and he let everybody know, you thought I was retired? Dummy! All that man did was come out, you know, let the world know he was back and let everybody know that he just had successful cataract surgery, an injury that he had going into the Terrence Crawford fight. Didn't really make no excuses. Still gave Bud Crawford his props. Still said, you know what? Hey, good shit. He put on a hell of a performance, but I'm not retiring because I need my get back. And just like I said in my last video, everybody was going to start running around, hating no Spence, saying that he was making excuses, saying that the reason he lost the Bud had nothing to do with his eye and all of that, right? So, like I told y'all before, man, it come with the territory. I already know what you're going to say before you said it. He already knew what it was going to be. And now I understand why he haven't said anything since July. Because he like, man, I'm finna enjoy my family. I'm finna go on these vacations, travel the world. And I'm not about to be going back and forth with these clowns on social media that don't have nothing else to do but stay on Twitter and troll all day. I'm not finna do that. I'll get to the people, right? And I'll get to talking when I feel like it. So today was the day, man. He popped up on everybody by surprise. But man, Errol Spence is the realest in the game. Um, and if not the realest, he definitely one of the realest in the game. And he a straight shooter, man. He's straight up and down like six o'clock and he don't sugarcoat shit. So today, when they seen that he had another surgery, right? And it's just the cataract surgery, only take about 30 minutes to complete. You know, the healing time is about three to four weeks and he'll be straight, right? It's going to fix the problem that he had, probably stemming from his retina surgery. Because I did read about uh, the cataract surgery, and it's common with patients that have a retina tear and then have to have surgery. But it gets worse over time. So he finally had to get that taken care of. Now everybody talking about, oh, he'll never be the same. He needs to retire. No, this is actually going to help him. It's going to help him see better. Y'all don't realize that before the retina surgery... Errol Spence never wore glasses. He never wore glasses. And then leading up to the Terrence Crawford fight, right? In all the press conferences, you seen him wearing glasses. We didn't even see Errol Spence wearing no glasses in the Ugas press conferences and leading up to that fight. So something should have told us right then, hey, something wrong with this man's eyesight. And then he went in the Terrence Crawford fight and like he said himself, he was getting hit with everything. So the man was injured going into the fight. And like I said, this is not to take away from Terrence Crawford's performance because he still did what he did and Errol Spence still took the fight. But I believe he took the fight because everybody had been anticipating that fight. It was on and then it was off. It was on and then it was off. So he know that if he had a backed out of the fight and had to have the surgery, it probably wasn't gonna be no fight. Reading about the injury, it persists and it gets worse over time. So at first it probably wasn't that bad and it started getting worse. And then he realized like, damn man, I can't get this surgery because if I get this surgery, it's gonna F up the fight between me and Bud. So I'm gonna have to hold off. And was it a smart move? No, because it could have got them killed in the ring. Damn near shit, it almost did get him killed. But he a dog and he was gonna do what he had to do. Plus. That man wanted that bag. You know what I'm talking about? These fighters ain't turning down money like that. Some of these fighters, man, they'll do some dangerous shit to get to that bag. And we seen Errol Spence do that. I mean, Spence told y'all that he would have went through with the Pacquiao fight if they had to let him go through with it. So, man, he going to do what he got to do to get to that bag so his kids can eat. But you got a whole bunch of clowns running around talking about hey, he wasn't injured. He's making excuses. He put an eye patch over his eye. He's faking and all this shit, man. When you see the man in a wheelchair getting wheeled out of surgery, you see it right in your face. But some people, like I said, man, some of y'all just clowns and you like to troll. Now, if you feel that it had an effect in the fight, that's a different story. Everybody going to have their opinion. But you can't sit up here and tell a man if he was injured or not. 
And a lot of people say, okay, well, why he didn't say nothing? Why he took this long to say something? Well, newsflash, he probably didn't want to say anything in the first place. He probably didn't want to tell y'all shit because this is the result when a fighter comes and say that he was injured. Everybody going to say that he's making excuses anyway. If you don't like him, you're not going to like him regardless of what he said, right? So the reason that he coming out now and letting everybody know that he did have an injury, probably because the people around him, the people that have to put on the fight at the PBC to rematch, they told him that he got to come out and, you know, let the fans know what was going on. And this is a part of building the fight. Because if he just don't never say shit, ain't nobody going to want to watch the fight again. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll watch it again. His fans is going to watch it again. Terrence Crawford diehard fans is going to watch it again. But they're not going to be able to sell the fight on any type of level to be successful. If he just don't say nothing. Like, I was perfectly fine. I'm just going in the rematch. Then people are like, man, what you going in the rematch for? And you damn near got killed in the first fight. If what nothing wrong with you. So yeah, he was probably forced to come out and let everybody know what was going on with him. Now, people gonna ask, why did it take him this long to get the cataract surgery? Well, if you've been following him, man, he been out of the country. He been traveling the country, just like he said in his post. You know what I'm talking about? He getting stamps on his passport. So while everybody else worried about trolling on the internet he was flying around the world with his family enjoying life enjoying the fruits of his labor enjoying what he's earned throughout his career you know what i'm saying he went in there and took that beating he been putting his life on the line so with all that being said ej he took to twitter and a lot of y'all probably seen this already but i'm gonna spit on it anyway i'm gonna cook on it and you know fans is they want to troll so he gonna give them a little taste of their own medicine so one fan pop up and say he just way better than you one trick pony and he's saying that basically terrence crawford is just way better than you and errol spence says you might be right but one trick got olympics kids in private school marvin pops retired years ago passport full of stamps and I don't have to pick up a glove again if I don't want to. You know what I'm talking about? Now, what about you? I got all these credentials. I'm rich in a mug. And you on the internet trolling about me. <laughs> That's basically what he was saying. And then he come back and he say, some of y'all forget what this shit really for until you 37 trying to make a comeback for 10% of what you used to make. And that's facts. How many fighters that we know, they trying to make a comeback, you know what I'm saying? They can't get no fights, been out the sport for years, right? Beat up, and they need the money. So they not just doing it because they love the game. They need the money, and now they getting paid 10% of what they used to make at the top. So he like, man, I'm trying to get this bag, and I'm trying to get up out of the sport. I'm not finna be one of them. And then he comes back, and he says, all that said, you can kill that retired shit, though. Yeah, I got my ass beat. Shit was past due. I didn't live exactly like a boxer for the most part. Laugh out loud. And now, that's what I'm talking about, man. The realest in the game. Ain't nobody else finna keep it a buck like that. And I've said this before. I said, well, you know, it eventually catches up to you because EJ, he wasn't living a fighter's lifestyle for years. So he let you know, hey, this shit was past due. I probably should have lost the uh, Sean Porter fight. But the reason I was able to beat Sean Porter is because, you know, I just had that dog in me. I was just levels above them fighters, right? And I think EJ was beating a lot of them fighters like Mikey Garcia and Sean Porter just because he was levels above them. So even though he wasn't at 100%, he was still getting away with it. But when you get to Terrence Bud Crawford, man, you got an all-around elite athlete. That nigga Bud ain't no joke. I'm not finna sit up here and act like he is. Once I seen him dominate on the basketball court like that, I said, oh yeah, he the real deal. It ain't boxing, but man, he just an all around athlete. So when I seen that, you know, I said, yeah, Bud is different. So once you get to that top, top eight plus plus level, and then y'all both in the ring, 
well, you know, shortcuts and all of that shit will catch up with you. And he realized that and he kept it a buck. And then he let y'all know all that shit y'all talking basically is cool. And my whole family appreciate y'all because y'all paying to watch me fight. That's if y'all paying to watch me fight. And, you know, I just paraphrased it, but y'all can see it. And so, man, EJ is back. Y'all wanted to hear him. I wanted to hear him. And, uh, man, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. And I think, man, he going to be locked and loaded. And win, lose, or draw, he coming, man. He coming. Real talk. So, may the best man win. Like I said before, I'm not finna change. Um, he have to prove to me that he can beat Terrence Bud Crawford. I'm not about to be around here yelling, oh, man, Spence going to do this and Spence going to do that. I'm going to be a fan. I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch the fight. Am I rooting for Spence? Hell yeah. This man down over here every day, all day, even when he retires, man down. But like I said, man, um, he got to prove to me that he can beat Terrence Bud Crawford. Anyway, y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel. Make sure that you hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub, and y'all already know how I do. Diego talking that boxing again, and I'm gone. T5, give me hide in the tree top. I'm making love to the beat like a track out of G5. And I'm chewing every MC, yo. Try to run with them, but they can't keep up, bro.